what do you think sure. are the most important, sorry, the most common mistakes that SaaS companies make or many companies make when they try and approach uh, conversion copywriting? Like what are those two, three things that you always seem to see? Yeah, absolutely. And like we've talked about, this certainly isn't, um, you know, only SaaS, but I feel like when I think about SaaS, the thing that comes to mind in terms of mistakes is, you know, historically the industry has been very design first over copy first. So mm -hmm. I think that's probably the biggest problem area that I see for SaaS specifically. Uh, and so because of that approach, usually, uh, you know, a lot of the the copy and the structure of the, of the sites can tend to feel uh, a little bit generic, kind of lifeless. Like that's, I think sometimes people look at SaaS and they're like, it all sounds the same because I think when you take mm -hmm. an approach that's not message first, you pass it off to the copywriter and have them fill in some lore ipsum for a headline that's too short in the wrong spot. Uh, you know, the whole messaging kind of idea hasn't been threaded throughout the site in a, in a sensical way. So you often end up with web pages and, or rather sites and landing pages that, you know, maybe don't have the best flow. They might not make a lot of sense. Um, the headlines are usually really short and generic and there's just, they're not selling you. They're not persuading you. They're not telling you anything important. They just kind of sound like the, and um, so it's easy for people to kind of gloss over it. And then on the other part of that, I think sometimes too, SaaS companies, they, they're so like within themselves. And I think that that tends to create copy that's really abstract and difficult mm -hmm. to understand because they're thinking about it like, oh, well, we understand how we talk about it. So it's got to make sense to everybody else. But when you actually, you know, put it out there and test it or even just pass it off to a copywriter, they're scratching their heads trying to figure out what the heck this is even trying to say because it's just too out there or it's like too clever and just doesn't really land. Um, so I would say, yeah, it, it, the, the main pains are a design first approach to structure and copy that doesn't necessarily always translate properly. And then copy that's a little bit too short and generic and vague. And then also copy that can just be too abstract and out in the clouds and really doesn't make sense to anybody who doesn't actually work on the team.